Okay, hi everyone. This is just a tutorial on how to import your image sequence into After Effects. So I've already made my image sequence to the size that I want and I just want to bring it in now. Now, first thing I need to do is just go to my preferences in After Effects. On the Mac it's in, uh, in, this, in this menu option here. I think on the PC it's File Preferences. Anyway, you just want to go to File Preferences Import and just check to make sure that your uh, your uh, image sequence footing sequence footage is the size that you want. All right. So here mine's already set for thirty frames. Uh, that's too much for uh, animation, so I'm just going to change mine down to 12. 12 to 15 frames a second is is pretty is is acceptable if you're making um, an animation. Okay, there we go. Hit OK. Now we need to import our file. So, okay, just need to wait. File, import, file. And wait for my slowing computer. All right, here's our the folder that I want, and I'm just going to select one of these images. Yep, there we go. That should be okay. Now the important thing is down here, where you're going to want your JPEG sequence turned on. All right, as long as that's on. OK. And there we go. All right, so now it's imported in. Next thing we want to do is we want to make a composition from this image sequence. So I'm going to press the right mouse button and new comp from selection. All right, that's one way to do it. The other way is that you can select this click and drag your image sequence down all right just down to about here Oops. cancel and you can make a composition from that there all right there we go there's our image sequence imported in all right now next thing to do once we're happy with it we all want to uh, uh, Add to the render queue. All right. So once it's in the render queue, um, we're ready to to save it. All right. So we've got our render settings. All right. Resolution. Yep, that's all okay. Use comp frame rate here. All right. That looks good. All right. Output mode. Choose the mode that you you want. And I think I'm using QuickTime. Now, sometimes <clears throat> my default audio is uh, turned off. Uh, if you've got audio, remember to turn it on. I don't for this animation. I'm going to leave it off. All right. And output to. All right. Just choose where you want to output it to. And uh, there we go. I'll output it to the de desktop. And now I'm just going to hit render over here on the right hand side. And there we go. We should be able to see that it's going through the rendering. Yep, there it is, the orange bar going along, along, along. Slows down and stops. There we go. There's our uh, image sequence saved as a movie. And that's all there is to it. But pretty important, just remember to just check your import settings to make sure they fit your output frames per second. Okay, that's it.